So I'm sure it's obvious, but this playlist, this class, were inspired by a lot of the things that we've been reading about the hidden labor behind our convenient world. So a lot of that reading happens online, you find a link and it goes to some tech or some labor uh, website uh, and uh, things. It's all a little bit ephemeral uh, out there. But not everything is short attention span theater. Here is Trisha to tell you about a novel and a popular nonfiction book that helped inspire this session. This is a book review of Nomadland, Surviving America in the 21st Century by Jessica Bruder. So this book is a peek inside of a society that um, isn't really acknowledged by anyone outside of that society. Um, it's, an, it's about an increasing number of Americans who can't afford to retire and stay in their homes, um, and they can't afford to rent homes. So they're having to live somewhere else and they're being forced to live in RVs and campers and vans, and, and some of them even in small cars while they work uh, seasonal jobs moving around the country. One of the companies that hires these people is Amazon. Um, uh, they call it their camper force. And uh, within Amazon, they actually have dispensers, painkiller dispensers in the warehouses for these seniors that are having to walk up to 15 miles a day. Um, it's a good look into the way cell phones and other electronic devices are affecting populations in America in addition to around the world. So this is a review of Blue Gold by Elizabeth Stewart. Rarely, if ever, do we think about where our cell phones come from. In Blue Gold, it tells a socially conscious story that will make you think a little bit more the next time you pick up your cell phone. Blue Gold is a story of three girls who live very different lives, um, and they're all linked together by a simple mineral called Blue Gold. So Sylvie's family is involved in mining, Lam Ping works in a Chinese factory, and Fiona is a Canadian girl who takes a thoughtless photo that she instantly regrets. At the end of this uh, fictional story, the author does have a section on how we can become more responsible consumers and increase our social awareness. Thank you, Trish, and thank you very much for watching. Let us know on Twitter or Facebook, the YouTube uh, channel. Um, you can just email us or talk to a person at the library. I know it's crazy. You can do it uh, here. Um, yeah, about if you loved or hated this whole video playlist uh, thing. If there's, um, yeah, if there's any topics that you might like to see us do more of these kinds of things about. It's kind of an experiment here, so we're uh, testing it out. Um, yeah. So, but I hope that it was an experiment that was at least a little bit illuminating of some of that hidden labor uh, behind our digital convenient world. Thank you very much.